All right, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Craig Cloth, and I'm back with another video, man. You already know what the fuck I'm about to say. If I ain't starting somewhere, I ain't going nowhere, man. Look, I'm up super early, bro. I had to stop booking flights so early in the morning, bro, because I'd be so tired, and I feel like I'm going to miss my flight. But on my way back to the Bay Area, I ain't been on here in a minute just because I've been trying to work up to this point. So I've been having partnerships. I've been um, just actually having work. So I has been kind of distance, just trying to knock those things out before I go back home. But I'm about to try to get as much content as possible because I'm going back home. It's been a much needed trip. There's so much shit going on in this world, bro. And I just need a reset. I need to hang out with my family, see my mom, kick it with my partners and friends. So. I'm about to go home, but I need to stop bullshitting because I'm about to be late to this damn airport, so we about to get there. You dig what I'm saying? Got to my goddamn written to call, goddamn. Hold on. Oh, I still look rough, bro. I cannot wait to get this haircut tomorrow, bro. But just got to the rental spot, picked up the car, whatever. They got me in a cool little thing. I'm gonna show y'all once I drop it off, but I'm starving like hell. I might be able to get me something to eat, and I'm gonna just go home for real. That's really about it for today but i think if my mic sound funny it's because i broke my mic in my pocket so i need to go to best buy and go buy a new mic on top of that <sighs> but yeah i'll catch y'all when i get something to eat or if not because my phone dead was good man y'all see me though little I got my little shits going. I'm about to go get a haircut right now. I just got the braids. Um, I don't know how I feel about them. My forehead look gargantuan. Gargantuan, that's the word. But I'm about to go get a haircut. I'm about to go link up with the homie Keezy, man. Keezy TV, if you don't know. If you've been on my page, you for sure know who he is. Got the homie brand right here. So we about to link up. Um, I think he's about to take me to a shop to show me some of the stuff that's coming up for his drops. And then we about to just get something to eat, talk some shit, but We'll see when we get there, but I'm on the way there right now, so I'll catch y'all when I get there. All right, had to make a quick little pit stop. Just got the cut. You know what I mean? Just got the cut. Had to make a pit stop. I just checked into my hotel, so I just need to drop everything off. And then I'm going to hit the road. But I want to see what this room talking about. Ooh, not that way. I swear, hotels be so confusing, bro. Okay, let's go this way. We go see the... I feel like it's gonna look raw, just because of where the spot at. But then again, it could look bunk. All right, we didn't get to the spot. Let's see what it's talking about. Let's see. Oh yeah, that motherfucker, boy. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Spot straight in the motherfucker. Cool little uh, little setup we got right here. Let's see what that bathroom hitting for. Hold on, I got one right here, touch it. Let's see what that bathroom hitting for. It's a itty bitty ass bathroom. I thought this would be a bigger bathroom, but it's low key kind of cool. It ain't the worst bathroom I've seen, but I thought this was gonna be a little bit bigger. I'm about to go ahead, head down, head to go link up with the homie, but I had to check in real quick. I'm just rambling, really, truthfully. <laughs> Got the Jabos on, nothing too crazy. Oh, not too crazy. Hold on, 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 hold on,
Girl, but like, I'm bullshitting. All right, let me get up out of here. I'm bullshitting. Yeesh. So this is uh, basically my dad owns, well not owns, he rents here and he uh, runs like a uh, machine shop. So I'll show you what it looks like in the back here. So this is uh, it's like a CNC machine. So they like make stuff out of like wood and, and plastics and all that kind of stuff. Oh. And then over here they, uh, they cut metal with like uh, it's a water jet machine, so okay. it can cut through like two inches of steel and all that kind of shit. And then there's like another CNC machine back there. Yeah, that's a whole little shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so basically, back in the day, my dad used to make those for like airports and uh, for like watch stores and shit like that. Mm. And uh, yeah. So. But yeah, I used to I used to work for him, but no, I don't do that no more. I used to do sales for him. All types of shit, and then this is like. So we go packing in all that. Yeah, exactly. I got a bunch of stuff for you, though. I don't know if you want to take it back. Yeah. Uh, not with this, it doesn't matter. And I'm about to drop this pretty soon. You know, this one. You want uh, blue or black? I will probably take the blue. Yeah, I will take the blue for sure. The blue. Mm -hmm. And then uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff too. <laughs> This motherfucker, oh boy, that color is crazy. Yeah, that's you right there, bro. Yeah. I haven't done snaps in a long time, and then snaps like was like the first thing I did, you know, in the beginning. So I just like, to try to bring it back. Oh man, I got that shit set up, man. That's some good shit. Hey, this really out here too. I'm like, boy, I'm still driving. What the fuck? Yeah, you never on this side, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm tripping. Uh, Nigga trying to hold on to it. <laughs> <laughs> like, he might yeah. it away. Man, <laughs> somebody might fuck around and come take my <laughs> shit. Uh. Oh yeah, this is where you be recording, huh? Yeah. Woo! This is where all my shit is at, really. These are all like majority of these are like samples. Shit, I haven't really done shit with yet. Not really like this. It's a work jacket. It's a dark blue, but I, I should be making it in black. It's like, it's taking so fucking long to make it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that inside go crazy. This is like some, like, like some Levi's shit. Yeah, a little bit. Like, yeah. But it's like the collar is kind of like, I don't know if you've seen like the Bottega jacket. It's like that drop one. Like yeah, it. it's kind of a little bit wider. And then it's like, it's cropped up a little bit, super wide. So, but it's just taking forever. It's also extremely expensive to fucking make and shit, so... It looked like it's crop. Is it crop? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part. For the most part. I'm gonna say, that's it's definitely not, your... Uh, it's not like... <laughs> you know... <laughs> that's definitely your speed. Oh, man, I got the sheets on. Sheesh. Yeah, that's what I had one more pair. I don't know where the fucking put it at, though. I'm trying to wait and st uh, stall out this dude on grill about those calls, babes, those, those uh, gray pair. You gonna wear them? Hell yeah. Shit, we don't know how much time we got on this planet. I'm gonna wear everything to the dirt, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. We ain't gonna grab some nothing, This shit straight, bro. Oh, yeah, I love that. Love this by Right Hill. Right Hill is probably like, that was one of my most favorite brands as of like last year. But that thing is like quality. It's like a collaboration with uh, Tatra or Tetra. I forgot the name. I went to Best Buy to buy it because I forgot my tripod at home. Bruh, and you know at Best Buy they got like the little shit where like it's like if it's open box they'll give you a discount. I did not know that. Yeah, like it's like something's been returned or it's been like an open box you can get a discount. So I walked up to the shit and I'm like this box like it's been open. So I asked dude, I'm like, hey, like, is this open box? Cause it look like it's been open. Right? He's like, nah, that's brand new. Oh, I sure. go to the car, bro. I open that box. That shit is so beat. I'm talking nicks, scratches. You get, you get a refund? No, cause then I walked inside. I'm like, bro, like, look at it. He was like, you right. He was like, oh, we ain't got the receipt. I'm like, how do you not have the receipt for something I just bought in your store? He was like, you gotta wait to process and then you gotta bring it. I was like, whatever, bro. 
I, I, just, I stopped buying the tripods at Best Buy because they're they're kind of flimsy. They're not. Yeah. You got you got to go to like a, an actual um, like a camera store and go get them. I don't know if you've been to like Sam Sammy's camera in the city. Nah, the shit the one I've been rocking with that I've probably had that for like eight months. It's from Amazon. That shit was like fifteen bucks. I well I I think for iPhones they're all the flimsy ones are okay. But like when it comes to like heavier cameras, they're they're pretty bad. Oh yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't put nothing. Where did I put it? I have one more pair. I want to show you. What was it, Dino? No, it's some Jabos. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's some Jabos. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> I think it's over here somewhere. Type shit. I ain't seen these in person either. These motherfuckers, the butters. Hey, bro. This is motherfucking UV Louis. Oh, I never saw it. No. Yeah, this is the one that I was like, when I started buying them again, I was like, I need that one. I need that one. Because it's like, it's all black. It's like, you can't really tell it's your until you get them close. You know? Yeah, these are different. Yeah. I will fuck around them, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, did you just fall? <laughs> no, I was about to get up out of here with these. These are fire. Yeah. Although, I don't know, I think it's a 32 or a 30, what does it say? 32 or 30. 32. Yeah, it's like, it's a little tight on me, but I mean, hey. That's what's know. weird, bro. I got a 33 in a pair, and like, I have a 32, and the 32 fit me wide for some reason, but then that 33 is like snug on me. Like, the red pair, yeah. I don't know if you saw it. That Maybe red. people wash them, and then they get, you know. Or had them taken in or some shit. Yeah. yeah these also, are they're... Your bows are all made in like, I don't know how many, you know, or over how much time, but they were made in, a lot of them were made in Hong Kong. No I way. think a lot of them, and then I think maybe in the beginning though, they were made in like Germany or something like that, or France. Uh, and then they switched and it was like Vietnam and then a bunch of them were made in China and like, I don't even know. But. That dude was doing a lot of shit, man. I watched a couple interviews where he was talking about like just denim in general and like trying to revolutionize like pants. What are you talking about? The actual, the, I don't know how to pronounce his name. The full name, like the marching on. Oh, the, oh, oh. the actual dude. Yeah. Um, that started the company. Like, the shit he was doing with pants and just, like, putting pockets in random ass spots and just yeah. doing, like, different type of silhouettes back then. That shit was dope. There's a couple uh, shits on the, YouTube. Uh, Con- Constant's Practice. I don't know if you follow him. It's like an archive page. Oh, uh, no. And he, he posts a lot of Drabo shit. He posts, and like, he posts like the jackets, and it's not just like the, the shuttle, the shuttle pants. Mm. Like, he'll post like a bunch of the, the Drabo shit from way, way back that people don't even know about. I gave you the first one, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is like the second, second version. Kind of similar, but like, just not as, Maybe not as dark. And that's a good ass pair of denim, bro. Cause like it's slimmer than what I usually wear, but like I could like maneuver in it. It's not oh, like yeah? I'm restricted. It's not like the first one I had you try on. Oh yeah, I still <laughs> come, bro. I promise you, I'm still breaking it. No, I'm talking the other one, the uh, with the Arc logo in the back. Oh, I'm oh, still oh. breaking those down. Oh yeah, yeah, those are stiff. Yeah. Those are stiff. Oh, but speaking of, oh, I'll show you. Oh, let me grab it. This is uh, so you got the black one, and then this is the this is the blue pair. Okay. A little little better of a like a little print there. That one looked like, like it yeah. was almost like a, a drip paint like. Yeah, cause the way they I don't know, so, sometimes they're when I do it and I sample it, the sample comes out better than when they press them out all together, and I don't know what it is. You know, is it's this like, one? Is this a sample or is it? Oh, uh, a sample. Okay. But those should be, in the next week or two, they should all be coming in. So, yeah. Fuck with that color. That one's like definitely not as indigo. Yeah, definitely not as stiff as the the one that you have though. Boy, <laughs> so, <laughs> tell me. I'll be like, so I know like with denim like that, you really gotta make it an effort to break those in. So yeah, like, I'll be yeah. wearing them, but I'm just like, God, them motherfuckers still tough. These two. Yeah, that was tough. It's supposed to be like a uh the. The belt like the red one, yeah, for the because I did it with white before for the tiger denim. This looks crazy. Yeah, but I haven't I haven't put the purchase order in for stuff like that. I don't know. I'm fucking going broke, spending all this money on all these fucking samples and shit. Hey, you gotta go broke. You gotta spend money to make money. Yeah, it's the worst part, really. 
For real. This little shit right here, this little detail. This little gold, uh. Yeah, it's a salvage. Yeah. It's the same, uh, salvage ID as in here. That shit tough. Yeah. Oh, nah, I'd definitely take Nipsey over the game. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. i will take Nip. Yeah, but this is why I, like, edited all that kind of shit. And then, uh, oh, you got the whole little... Yeah. This is where I used to, when I worked for my dad, like, I would make sales calls in here and shit like that. And, like, this, there was nothing in here before until I started the actual, my actual brand, my actual, my actual business, so, mm. yeah. Man, I got the temporary clock. What was the uh, dra Draganomics and mm. fucking uh, what was the other one? I forgot the other name. Shit, I was uh putting on some some of my coworkers. They were just talking about Bay Area music, and I was like, when the customers leaving the store, we need to play that too short. It's time to go. <laughs> dun, dun. But they really started playing that shit too, bro. That shit hella funny. Were you but working there? I work at this spot in uh, Austin that calls. Oh, it's a clothing thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it like consignee? Like, you, people can come in there? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, it's more like, it's really, it's like a store. So, like, you know, they got, they carry shit like beams and capital. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, so that's where you can get all your shit. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have to put that on the internet. It's all good. <laughs> it's going to be a cut, like, oh, scene yeah. and next one. <laughs> well, yeah, uh... Yeah, they got some dope shit in there. They carry like some. You ever heard of the brand called Rogue Territory? Uh, it sounds familiar. From San Diego, I think. It sounds familiar. Yeah, they got some shit that's dope. They carry like Double RL or Ralph Lauren. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they got some shit in there. Shit, kind of pricey. Bro. That motherfucker, it'd be like $600 or 500 bucks per pair of jeans, I think. Bro, easy. And people be coming in. It'd be a lot of celebrities coming in too, buying that shit. Oh, really? Yeah. Who'd you meet? Like, he was like the stoner character in like hella '90s movies. Uh, he played. Uh, you ever seen Goofy movie? No. Oh damn. no. <laughs> <laughs> is it early 2000s or 90s? Nah, Goofy movie is the 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 Disney movie. Uh, that, uh, and you got a trap note in there too. Chill, chill, no, chill. <laughs> I'm trying to check my pockets now. <laughs> uh, but he was like the 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 stoner friend in that movie. Uh, That's the way a lot of people recognize him from. I guess I don't know. Oh, that's sick. Um, some other lady just came in last week. Some dude that was in the movie Jaws came in. He spent like three thousand there, but he bought a Capital denim jacket. So then that means where you're at, they actually got some decent stores out there. Cause why that you you work at that place? It's like they they got some spots in Austin. Honestly, yeah, it's cool. Like they got some spots where it's like you might find some dope shit. But I'll say that's probably like the focal spot if you want like some. If you in the know with fashion shit, yeah, that's probably yeah. where you go get it most likely. The places. brands and whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's like a boutique then, it sounds like. Yeah. Oh. That's lit. They got some shit in there, though, for sure. Where were you working before when you worked out here? Uh, what's that shit? Everyone? Oh, 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 yeah. oh. Oh, for that long? Yeah. For a minute, bro. Yeah. And then it just got bad, and I was like, bro. I really was just using that to just to get a paycheck. That's all these, like, jobs are for me, just to, like, I make the money on the side with social media. Also make this money with going to work. So it's like, I want to keep that constant flow in. So yeah, I really just be chilling. Really, because the social media shit like outbalance the job shit yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what's up. I, that's what go. I'm saying. Like, I could really, I could quit, but like it's like you wouldn't want to do that yet. I wouldn't want to do that yet. I'm not yeah. that set on my feet, but I've been paid like. With the Doc Martens shit, the shit I did with Doc Martens, bro, like, I would have to work. That's, like, three paychecks. Dang. Yeah. So, like, not even flexing type shit. Yeah, I'm Mr. Doc Martens over here, bro. But, Dang. nah, but, like, okay. it, it's getting to that point. Because I just started, I started pushing back on these companies, especially, like, big names. I'm like, bro, you're not about to, I can't take less than this. Like, you're not about to play me. Because I know y'all have the money. Dude, ain't no bro, ain't nobody ever hit me up, bro. I never get not one call, bro. I don't get no email. I get <laughs> NFTs. I did have one, but I just it didn't fall through. It was more like they wanted me to do uh uh they wanted me to be an ambassador for uh hat club and I was just like Oh okay. But like that's different though. They're just gonna keep sending me hats and it's just gonna be like hats that I don't wear because I right. literally wear like two fucking hats. So I was like, uh, eh, this is a good opportunity, but like at the same time, if you guys hit me up like a year ago, you know. 
Yeah, but, but then it's like right also now, too, it's know. like I don't like clutter like that. So like, yeah, I want the shit, but like, then I'm gonna like run out of like I'm not gonna want it anymore. Like, and then it's just gonna be sitting there taking up space. Oh, you mean you're gonna have hella, hella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another reason I just stopped taking so much shit. Cause I'm like, I don't need it. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I don't need it right now. Yeah, it has to be really like stand out for me to be like I'll take it for free and just like fuck it like or if I'm just like super cool with somebody and like I see that they trying to get that like get out there I'll fuck with them but I don't need extra clothes like that no more like my closet is pretty yeah I got a lot of clothes I need shoes though <laughs> so if y'all listen to nigga <laughs> send, send me some shoes just got Doug Burton alright some shoe company actually <laughs> alright <laughs> some shoe from Portugal actually I've never heard of this company but they just reached out to me. They go give me like they got like a canvas sneaker, kind of look like a uh, Stan Smith fake way. I'm surprised Collegiate never hit you up. Um, they cool though. I fuck with Nick, but yeah. I, I'm waiting on it. So when they come up, you feel me? It's gonna come. But type shit. <laughs> type shit. <laughs> when they come, it come. Uh, so I ain't pressing it. That foot logger one you did was pretty dope. Yeah. I wish I could I'll tell you later But I got another one That's coming up But They just been pushing That deadline back Every fucking month bro uh, I was supposed to like, I'll tell you later As long yeah. as you get paid for it I don't know what it is But shit As long as you get paid for it I'm gonna get paid But It's just like They've been giving me The running around And you would think As big as this company is bro You would think that They would just be on their shit And they really not Which helped me realize Like These people are just people too Like or maybe it's too big of a company and it's yeah, super unorganized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should get lost in translation. Man, man's getting hit up by fucking Adidas right now or something like that. He's gonna get. He's gonna get some. <laughs> he's gonna get some sambas. Uh, nah. I you know, the funny thing is I was trying to jump in on that way. Samba. I don't jump into too many trends, but I seen a pair that I ain't seen too many people wear, and I was about to shoot on them, but I'm gonna just hold off. I don't know how this samba thing. Everyone's like, it's blowcore, but I'm like, nah, I don't know about that. Somebody just wears it, and then somebody's like... I think it's because of the collab. I forgot the name of the collab, though. It's that Wells Bonner? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just bought I some pants from them. That yeah. Shit was looking... They got some shit, though. Like, I like they, I like they cuts. They still the West far. Well, shit, good for Adidas, because, like, Nike has been shitting on Adidas now for a, quite a while. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's been checks over stripes for a long time, so... Adidas finally gets a little something, you know? Right. Which they... I don't remember, They used to... Adidas used to be my go-to shoe. I think I took... I used to have... Like ZX, shell toes and shit like no, that? No, like the ZX Flux. You ever remember those? No, no I wasn't really into Adidas like that. ZX Flux. I had like three pairs of those. Uh, and those shits were fire to me back then. Yeah. I was choosing Adidas over them 24-7. But then... They just... I think when the... Because how long the, the basketball shits last? Like when they got the jerseys, like... Nike has a sponsorship for this long, and then they switch to Adidas jerseys and shit. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Probably every season, maybe, or every other season. Something like that. But I remember, like, when they had Switch or something like that, I was just like, I just stopped fucking with uh, Adidas like that. I, I feel like Nike is just a better... Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not going to miss out... Look, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to miss out on no change, bro. All right, bro, so yesterday... Things kind of just went all over the place. So after I kicked it with Keezy, which we didn't really do too much, we chopped it up. We talked about fashion. We talked about trends. We talked about um, a couple other things, things that he got coming up, things I got coming up. And then I came home and then, uh, I mean, I came to my hotel and then me and my homie linked up and then we went to like some bar in Oakland. It was uh, <laughs> not fun. But today I'm about to link up with Selly. Um, again, if you don't know Selly, I'm going to drop his ad right here, but I'm going to link up with the homie and go get some breakfast. Um, and then I think I'm going to shoot to San Francisco to link up with some old friends. So I don't know how much, like, it's really hard to, like, because I'm supposed to be on vacation, technically, because I'm still, like, linking up, doing content and all that. But it's hard to, like, record in moments where you just kind of want to be there. You don't want to have to, like, like, oh, let me set my camera up and, like, record something. So I don't know how much I'm going to record today, but I'm definitely going to get Sally on the channel just to say what's up and talk about things he got going on but I need to get up out of here because I told him we was gonna meet up at 11 and I think it's like <laughs> I think it's like 10 something right now so I'll meet y'all there well y'all meet me there when I get there type shit 
<clears throat> I told you I was gonna have him on the channel, man. Got the man Sally right here. What's good? QN clapping sound effects. What's going on with Yay. you, bro? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, man. We're here right now. We're in the bang bus. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We finished. We literally just finished a couple scenes, so uh, mm -hmm. we just taking a little break type shit. But mm -hmm. uh, what's going on with you, bro? I'm good. Just you know, working every day, working out just like you. Trying to get so big. I'm, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to look nice for Mexico. It's funny. Are oh, you going to Mexico? Yes. When are you going to Mexico? September. What part of Mexico? I'm going to San Lucas. Okay. Cabo. Damn. Mm -hmm. I was just saying, I went to, uh, someone on Instagram just went to Tulum, bro, and Tulum looks fucking crazy. Oh, yeah, um, uh, I have a friend that just went to Tulum, and she said, she has a video, actually, but, That's anyway, she was saying that it's, it's nice, like, yeah, go there. she look fucking beautiful, bro. Yeah. I'm like, I need to get out of Tulum. this country for a little bit. Yeah. That's lit, though, son. San Lucas, you said? Yes, sir. Damn, how long are you going for? It's going to be, like, four days. It's for, it's for a friend's 30th birthday. That's gonna be nice, bro. Yeah, tequila's up the ass. <laughs> Wait, up the ass? What the fuck? Yes, Let's sir. talk about this jacket, though. <laughs> you got the fucking oh, that yes. thing on. How'd that go? How'd the, uh, did you do a pre order with that? Yeah, we actually we released 50. Those sold out, and then we did a pre order. And then now we just got, we just got like 10. 10 pre orders? No, 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 no. We got 10 left. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. damn. Good shit, though. Okay. That's what's so, up, bro. Everybody doing their shit. Yeah, That's yeah. That's what's dope, bro. Yeah. I, I didn't expect, like, the pre-orders to go well. But now it's like, all right, cool. And wanted to save some for a giveaway as well as do a small restock on the on the page. That's coming Monday. Mm. So we're going to do a small restock there. I don't know when this video goes, so it, it, that might have already <laughs> passed, honestly. Exactly. <laughs> Depending on how fast I can edit this video. Yeah, yeah. But that shit is fire, though. Is yeah, it, uh, man. was that you or somebody did a vegan leather? No, nah, this is not else? vegan leather, though. This It's crazy because this is like 100% cowhide leather, and when you, first, yeah, when you first wear it, when you first wear it, it's like hella stiff, but then I was like... The only reason why it's stiff is fucking it's leather. You right, gotta, it's real. You gotta like, wear it in. That's like grown it's man like shit. Wearing, it's like wearing it's like wearing sneakers. It's like you either get like the craziest leather, where like some Jordan ones or something, and it's like mm. that leather is like so stiff you gotta break it in. It's it's like kind of like it's like this. It's that real shit. It's that real shit. You know, you ain't go get it anywhere else. That's not the shit that you get at fucking Forever Fashion Nova yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly, something else. Exactly. Hundred <laughs> percent wool. Um. Yeah, with the map buttons here. How long yeah. did it take you though? That like production wise, like from when you was like, I want to do this to you getting it mm. in hand. So that idea was like maybe August, September of twenty 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 one. Okay. And then like we got our first sample in October, and that one was like it was okay. Went with it for a little bit, seeing how people you know was reacting to it and people liked it it was, it was nice it was nice i liked it a lot it's just the the materials i was like the materials ain't it it was mm -hmm. like we used vegan leather and fucking uh cotton mixed with polyester for like wool base and like the wear over time like in a month like the wool would start getting like like balls like like, little... like moth balls or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 exactly and i didn't like that i was like nah like this this got to be a jacket that can last like a lifetime. Like how varsities are intended yeah, how, to like yeah, exactly. over time, as exactly. opposed to just like age with the type shit. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So then I was like, we gotta we gotta go and source out like leather, some materials. So we just keep we kept getting swatches in, and then finally like I like I like this one a lot just because it had hella texture. Yeah, I like that. But on the on the beige one, it kind of make me look like I got a second skin or something. <laughs> But that's why I like the black, the black on black one a lot more because it's a little more subtle with this. But honestly, I'll take quality over, you know, whatever. Cause yeah. I know this is gonna last me as long as I want. Honestly. Yeah. I yeah. mean, y'all can't tell, but this shit is like <laughs> this is legit. Like, this is like we're some, you know what I'm saying? That's not some bullshit. Yeah. And then we got the lining here. It's like it's like heart filled. Lining. Oh shit! I didn't even know. Yeah. Instead of diamonds. Or whatever, like quilted, it's like it's like marks on it. Some subtle, That's smart. something subtle, you know. Yeah, we that's were, how you bring it back to like yo shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
we've been having a lot of a lot of concepts too is like should we do hearts for the button i was like nah it's kind of look corny if there's too many hearts on this mm. jacket you know like on some drake shit <laughs> <laughs> you do like you kind of look like drake <laughs> your skin version bro i'm hey, fucking weak man hell no your pussy what do you say controller <laughs> i need it when it's got an <laughs> you see the jack harlow video he's like he's like his backseat of his car he's like this and he's like your pussy oh no nah, he's bro. calling my name <laughs> and they're I'm, like on the comments it's like jack honey no <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. No, I don't even listen to Jack Harlow, so like I definitely oh wouldn't have seen goodness, that. Dude. That's not like on some shade shit. I just don't. He's not in my rotation. Yeah, no, I no, I feel it. Shit. Like, like when he dropped the when he dropped his album, I was like, okay. And then I don't. I didn't even repeat after that. Yeah. What I've been really repeating is uh, honestly, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really? I fuck it. with Liability. Liability is a good song. That song with uh, Twenty One Savage is good too. That uh, the last one. Mm-hmm. But I ain't really fuck. Jimmy with, like, Cooks is nice. Like I be hooping to that song. Bro. Really? I fuck with. Uh, I feel like I'm in a mixtape when I'm listening to that song. Mr. Morale and the Big Stepper. I've been playing that <laughs> shit tough, bro. Oh, That's my man. shit right now. Like I fuck with that album tough. Um, I don't know. I gotta give. I, I'll give. Honestly, never mind. Another chance. I need to listen to it one more time. Like. It's not for everybody. It's like if my wife like it, then I'm just like, okay, we can we can keep bumping it. Right. <laughs> and, and sometimes she be uh, she be singing that song too uh, on Massive, where it's like you pussy <laughs> or calling my name. She be saying that, bro. So now I made a remix. I'm like, Damn. your boobies or your titties is calling my name, and I'll be like flipping her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bro. Freak ass. That man got the bang bus there. She be laughing, bro. I'm telling you, man. That's hella I'm funny, bro. You, bro. Hey, man. Explicit content, right? <laughs> Explicit. This is going on <laughs> OnlyFans around like 2 p.m. Oh next God, week. So just bro. make sure you subscribe in. Yes, sir. How do you feel about the current state of social media? Like, it, what's your take? Uh, I think Instagram is just dead, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's just dead. I liked, like, before you would post stuff and, like, people would see it. But now it's like, I don't see nobody. I follow about, like, 1,000, 1,500 people, maybe. I forgot, but. And I don't see any of them. I only see, like, maybe 10 people. Yeah. You'll see, like. And it's crazy, bro. I'll scroll on my feed and it's like recommend it, recommend it, recommend it. Mm-hmm. One person I know recommend it, recommend it. I'm like, mm-hmm. bro, I don't even want to get on this app anymore. Like, what's exactly. the fuck? It'll show you like, when did I follow this person? But it's like, you like this photo and it came from this hashtag. I'm like, I'm like, what's the point of the explore page then? <laughs> exactly. the fuck is the point of that? Like, exactly. if I'm just gonna, if you're just gonna put the explore page on my homepage, Man. like, I don't I'm know. It's just been, it's been weird lately. I, I mean, just, it's easy to just like. Go on there, and then you can actually choose it to be chronological. Order. You could do that. Yeah, you could do that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I did not know that, bro. bro. You got, <laughs> bro. You, this is what you got to do. Bro, right here. what the fuck? You go here, or sorry, right there. Following. Boom, changes it. Forty-six seconds ago. But it's the fact that you even have to do that. that. Like, exactly. And the fact that I didn't know that, I know a lot it's, of people don't know that. That's exactly, crazy. bro. That's why sometimes I just go here and then I just scroll down sometimes. But then, like, I just be lazy, bro. Cause, yeah, because, like, cause, like just, you don't ever see. I just want to see it and then, right. like, see what's up, you know? And the thing is also, like, there's not stories on that side either. Like, it's exactly. just, like, I don't know. That's just weird. It's crazy, bro. I only. Type shit. I only see about 10, 20 people. And I'm like, damn, what happened to when I seen, like, everybody's shit? Right. You know? You remember when engagement was crazy? Like, it was my crazy. posts were doing, like, 100K impressions. I'm like, what the fuck? And now my shit's like, I'd be like, I'd be happy if I get, like, 20. Exactly. Or, like, 10. I'm like, yeah. Gone. I go in there for the jokes. That's why I like interacting with people, like, in my DMs and shit. It should be fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's, it's cool to, like, the people that you interacted with a lot like back in the day yeah for sure like they show up on your feet all the time too so it's cool like i'll just i'll just usually just go in my story and just look through see what i don't even go through the fucking the feed anymore i just i just be looking at the story that's how i be seeing it depends on how bored i am 
<clears throat> I might scroll on my homepage. I'm like, let me see what shit going on. Mm-hmm. But then, like, I'll go to, like, Twitter. Because Twitter's funny. Twitter, <laughs> Twitter, 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 Twitter has been the funniest shit since the dawn of time. I feel like... like and people will probably think, like, since we own social media, we own it 24-7. I'm not really on... Nah, yeah. Like, I'm on YouTube more than anything. Just because, like, I like watching, like, podcasts and, like, stand-ups yeah. and shit. But, like, yeah. I'm not really on social media as it as much as people think I am. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. I, I, maybe on Instagram, maybe I spend, like, an hour, 30 minutes to an hour on Instagram. Because I just start getting tired. I'm like, man, where's the... Where the cool shit at? You're right. You know? It's not there anymore. But I've been I've been doing shit like when I just got this drone, I was like, damn, I gotta fly this shit. That shit that video time. was tough, bro. Bro. And I fucking bought a lame ass drone. Actually it was gifted to me. But the drone mm-hmm. I got so fucking weak, bro. So lame. Costco. Four hundred fifty bucks. You said that like that was cheap. <laughs> you said Costco. Expensive to Grady of Claw. Chill out, bro. LLC, don't you got one? Thought you did. Ooh. Yeah. We don't speak on that. Okay, okay, okay. Type shit. I mean, that's. I got hella shit expense to the company. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Who's calling me? Fucking. Somebody called me so fucking rudely. Uh, so yeah, drones. We were talking about drones, but. Talk about drones, social media. Yeah. Yeah, what you into right now, clothes-wise, like brands? Man. What's been piquing your interest? Honestly, bro, Zara been on a move. Bro. Oh, Zara? I'm trying to get a Zara bag, bro. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm trying and to get that's a, a Zara big bag. bag, too, yeah. I know Jada does similar stuff to, like, you know, like that type of move, too. I'd, l- I'd like to get a Jada bag, too. Jada would be nice. Who? Jada. Oh. Uh, Jada, man. I've seen the shit that you've been posting about Jada, man. I'm like, damn, they got some nice stuff. Too. Yeah, they yeah. should. They got some dope silhouettes. But now, nah, I mean, <sighs> type shit. I'm I'm like on like a island vibe. Like I've been looking more at like Ald shit. Mm. But Ald is so expensive, bro. I'm just like, I'm good with the alternative, honestly, bro. Mm. Honestly. And as long as my wife, bro, every time I I dress like, like cool little business casual, my wife is like. She, don't fuck she, with turned the she turned on more. She turned on more. She don't fuck with it. She don't fuck with the oh streetwear. <laughs> no, no, man, no. That's she funny. she turned on more. She get turned up. She start dancing in the house. You know what I'm saying? Got the robe on. Got the robe on. What's under the robe? No. <laughs> Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you about yeah. to you about to get a Stussy uh tie, and then you about to Jeez. get one of those overshirts. But that's what I'm man. Like, I don't, so I don't know what to it. call that, bro. Like, like the collar shirts. Business stripes, core. Business core type. Type shit. Not with a tie, but like, something like Everlane type beat. Mm. Like, stuff that Everlane be doing. I'm going to bleep that out. No free promo. <laughs> We're not getting free promo around here. <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, I feel but like. yeah, I, I'm just a cool summer vibe. Yeah. You know? I, I just, I just been into that lately. Like, probably, probably till then, too. Just dress a little more my age. Yeah. But I, I like streetwear. Uh, I have bullshit storage on my phone, so <laughs> we go wrap this up pretty soon. Mm-hmm. But I've been looking at. I think you were talking about brands that you've been watching. It's like Zara, LD type beat. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've been into like Helmet yeah. Lang. <laughs> Helmet Lang. Uh, what's that shit called? I think it's like Dries Van Noten. You ever heard that brand? Dries Van. Noten or not? Is that like Von Dutch? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but that brand has some dope ass shit. I've been into like the expensive shit, which is like it's been toxic because like. No, yeah. Fucking like Bodhi. I want a Bodhi oh, piece man, so fucking I'm telling bad. You. <laughs> bro, when it comes to those pieces, I'm like, bro. Like, I would love to have those pieces. If I had all the money in the world, I would just cop. I would just get any, any of those pieces that I wanted. But then, you know. You think about like we got bills, like responsibility, right? right. <laughs> Investments, right? But I'm like, shit. The way the world going, we don't know how much long we got on here, so I'm just turning up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Don't do that, everyone. Mm-mm. Save your money, invest. Also, make sure you treat yourself every once in a while. Treat yourself every once in a while. Exactly. That 
Man, gotta dude, treat everybody yourself. need to do that. Bro. Everybody. Have fun with this everybody. shit. But yeah, man. We about the. I'm probably about the. I don't think I'm gonna go to, to my mom's so I'm gonna charge my phone. And then I'm probably gonna go to the city. I don't know how much more I'm gonna record from today. Because mm-hmm. I feel like this is already a long segment. But. Mm-hmm. Thank you for coming on my uh, channel, dude. Of course. I think you're you, you, after you, you you're this you're gonna be the second person to be on this channel. Ooh. I mean after uh Keezy. So I got I recorded with him now. and then special. now it's gonna be you and you gonna be the second person on there. We got the Haven Court Type Haven shit. Court on on the dome piece. I'm know? not taking the hat off because my forehead looks huge, but I do got the braids going, but I'm not taking the hat off, bro. Tight. But Tight. I'll catch y'all whenever mm-hmm. I decide to start filming again. Uh <laughs> love the way you work it Ay. I love the way you work it for me